What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna run through a full day of eating. I know a lot of you guys love my meal inspo, so that's what I ran through today. Just a couple different meals that I cycle through that I love eating, and of course that are high protein and whole food focused. I did not film an intro on this video. Don't know how that slipped my mind, but here we are. I worked out first thing in the morning. Some days on my run days, I eat before I work out. Some days I don't, and today was a day that I ate breakfast after my workout. For some reason, I was still kind of full from the night before, but I have noticed if I eat before for my runs, I actually run way better. Makes sense. I have some electrolytes in me. I have some salt in me. I have some food in me, some carbs, some energy, also some water because I usually drink water with my meals as well. If you've been keeping up on my YouTube, you know that I just moved. I was traveling and I just was really busy. So I have been inconsistent with my workout routine, but I'm finally getting back into it. But running has been the biggest struggle for me because I feel like I'm starting from square one again. I've never been a great runner, never been a strong runner, but that is my number one goal right now is just to progress in running. So we're slowly but surely getting back into it. It's been a struggle, but we're here. We out here. We're showing up for ourselves. I went and got coffee at La La Land. I got an almond milk iced latte with honey. This has been my go-to order lately. And if y'all know me, you know that I love chocolate in my coffee. Usually I just get like one pump of mocha, one pump of chocolate, but I have been on a honey kick. So that's all I've been drinking lately. If you go to La La Land, you need to try their avocado toast. It is so freaking good. You have to add a hard boiled egg on top. Getting up and doing some movement and walking to and from the coffee shop just sets the day up for just good vibes. And when I work out first thing in the morning, it just makes me feel way better. It makes me more motivated, more disciplined, and just on my shit. When I got back, I made some breakfast and I had one egg with some egg whites, a Dave's Everything bagel with peanut butter on top. This meal is so good and I feel like I have some sort of variation of this every single morning. If you know, you know eggs and some sort of carb like oatmeal or a bagel. Today was a bagel. This breakfast is about 40 grams of protein. Again, setting me up for success for the rest of the day, making sure that I hit my protein goal every single day without fail. Let's get into my other meals. I hope y'all enjoy this video. It's time for lunch. I am so freaking hungry right now and I've made this meal before but I literally just cannot get enough of it. I'm making my chopped chicken salad recipe. You only need a couple ingredients. It's so easy, so yummy, high in protein. And it's better than chicken and rice right now. Like sometimes I just get bored of it, even though it is good. And I feel like I could never get bored of it. I just like to switch things up a little bit. So let's cook some chicken and I'll show you guys how I assemble the chopped chicken salad. These knives are brand new and they're so sharp. I love it. So these cook quicker. I'm just gonna cut them up in cubes because I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm so particular about the chicken that I get and I always get the organic free range from Sprouts. The texture of chicken can be so bad and weird so I just make sure I get the best quality that I can. My favorite meat brand is Force of Nature. They have a ground chicken but I actually have never had that before. I usually just get the Force of Nature bison beef and they have an ancestral blend where they actually take the ground meat and then mix it up with heart and liver and I think those are the organs that they mix it up with. Super good for you, super healthy, best quality meat ever and yeah, you can taste the difference between that versus just like the cheapest ground beef or the cheapest chicken that you can find. Like the texture is different, the taste is different, the feel is different, like I'm so picky with meats and as I should, like I am picky with my produce, I'm picky with my meats because I want to find the best quality stuff that I can get even if it costs an extra dollar or two like i am going to spend that extra amount because it just goes back to investing in my own health i usually cook with avocado oil either this or a spray because it can withstand high heat so it doesn't like smoke 500 degrees fahrenheit smoke point so it's like the highest one but also this brand is amazing cold press is what you should look for and not something super processed And for spices, we're gonna do salt and pepper. This is my favorite salt. It's the Redmond's Real Salt. It's an unrefined mineral salt, but it has a ton of minerals in it. So it's not super processed and all the minerals are taken out from it. Ancient fine sea salt, best of the best. I'm also adding pepper and then onion powder and garlic powder. Arguably the most important seasoning besides the salt is paprika. For some reason, paprika just does something to chicken that makes it taste so good. If you're not using paprika, when you're cooking your chicken, you are missing out on so much flavor. It literally makes it taste so good. And the texture, crispy, caramely on the outside, and so, so yum. Okay, I'm starting with the base of greens, and I'm just using baby spinach. 
and then some red onion. You could honestly make this any way. These are like my favorite ingredients and they go so well together. I'm gonna do this much onion, avocado. I've set the smoke alarms off like five times in this place, so I always have to keep the vent on. Half of an avocado. This is probably my favorite part. I love sun-dried tomatoes, and it's weird because I don't like any other tomatoes. I like to do a lot of them. You can use mayo or sour cream or whatever you like, but I highly recommend y'all try just using plain non-fat Greek yogurt. It adds extra protein, but also keeps it super creamy. It's so good. It's been so hard for me to lock in, but I'm back tracking my stuff. I feel like I've been saying that for the past two weeks, but today is the freaking day that I'm starting, and I'm going to be consistent. I'm gonna make it happen because my birthday is in four and a half weeks and I just want to be feeling my best when that time comes. And then obviously continue doing what I was doing before not just do like some sort of crazy diet and then once my birthday hits like just go crazy. It's not what I'm doing at all. We're trying to just maintain the healthy habits that I'm building because with moving and traveling and just a holiday I've been a little bit off plan. A lot of bit off plan. But I've been enjoying myself. I've been having a good time but I just feel the need to get back into my routine and just feel good doing that. I do feel my best when I'm getting my stuff steps in. I'm making sure I'm hitting my protein goal. I'm working out consistently. I'm progressing in the gym. I'm sleeping well. I have a good sleep schedule. Like all of those things are so important for me to feel my absolute best. Okay, now we're gonna get some chicken going. I'm doing three and a half ounces of cooked chicken breast. Chicken breast is super, super high in protein. I love eating it, especially when I cook it like this. It's so good. Now we chop it up. Definitely need a bigger cutting board. Look at that chicken. Are you kidding? Here is the final product. I'm so excited to eat this. Bomb. It's every time. One of my followers made this and she put it on sourdough toast. I think that would be so freaking good if you didn't want to just eat this plain. Mm, but it is so good by itself. I'm gonna run to the store really quickly because I'm filming a recipe, but I don't have all the ingredients. So I need to go get chocolate chips, maple syrup, and I think that might be it. There's a couple things that I do not have that I need. Luckily, I am in Dallas right now and every grocery store and everything you need is within literally one mile, which is amazing. I have a little Gatorade with me because I feel like I've been lacking on electrolytes. I did have an LMNT packet in my water bottle before and I drank the entire thing. So I already have a thousand milligrams of sodium plus a little bit in this, even though it's nothing. Like Gatorades are horrible electrolyte drinks. But I just needed a few sips. Let's go to Target. Okay, I just got back from Target. I'm making a molten chocolate chip protein baked oats. I'm gonna be using the Rises Cosmic Brownie Protein Powder. And then I had to get a ramekin too because I didn't have one. Got some mini chocolate chips as well as a block of dark chocolate because I'm gonna do like a chocolate filling. So once I put the spoon in the baked oats, it'll be like all chocolatey and gooey. And it's like kind of like a lava cake in a sense. Got some raspberries. Um, yeah, just a snack on. But I'm gonna quickly make this recipe for tiktok and instagram so the full recipe will be on there if y'all want to go find it my username is chase josephson and then afterwards we're going to be making dinner which i'm so excited about okay this is the before there's a piece of this chocolate there's one square in the center so once i break it open after it's done it's going to be like so chocolatey and good i'm so excited i changed my shirt because i wanted to wear a rise shirt when i was making the rise recipe if y'all want to try the cosmic brownie protein powder use code chase at checkout or check out my tiktok shop and go under my showcase a lot of the times they offer a lot of discounts on there so shop through either one either code chase or tiktok shop showcase whatever one is cheaper honestly tiktok shop tends to be cheaper but right now i'm going to make my my own bowl of oatmeal and then we're gonna make dinner because that's gonna take 25 minutes to cook and I'm hungry right now I'm gonna measure out 50 grams of oats and I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for one minute these are my favorite kind of oats to use is the Bob's bread mill I'm pretty sure they're the glyphosate free ones non GMO good quality gluten free love to see it organic I'm gonna top my oatmeal with some almond butter and also the raspberries that I got. But of course, I'm going to wash them first. 
Adding some salt. I'm gonna do 20 grams of almond butter. Perfect. Of course, the only nut butters that I use are almonds or almonds and salt. Or if I do peanut butter, it's peanuts and salt or just peanuts. I freaking love raspberries. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Mm, just a bunch of these. That is 100 grams of raspberries. This looks so yum. Goodness. Ooh, maybe some cinnamon would be good. Okay. Well, there she is. That's amazing. Okay, the plan was to make some steaks tonight, but I was feeling a little bit lazy and my throat is kind of bothering me. So I was like, soup sounds really good. And I was debating between getting like Panera soup, like the pick two, or I've never had this, the lat. <laughs> we came to get pho. I don't know why I'm showing you the menu, but I'm getting chicken pho and we got some spring rolls as appetizers and edamame as well. Um, hopefully this shit's gas because I've never had it before, but I'll let y'all know. I know my skin kind of looks very good right now. Should we paste in it? When I was in college and I wanted to be cheap, I literally used to get frozen bags of edamame and just eat a whole ass bag of them. It's like 40 grams of protein. And I think they're really gas. Yum. And then we got some spring rolls with shrimp in it. And a peanut sauce. Happy Chase. Got the chicken pho with noodles and veggies and I added a hard boiled egg on it and I made it dirty and I think it's almost like a sweet sauce. I don't really know. It's giving like ramen noodles kind of like how it you add the packet of like seasoning and it turns brown. Wait, you're supposed to eat it with a fork? <laughs> I mean, I can't really scoop up the noodles with this thing. Watch it be spicy. It's sad. It's good. It tastes like ramen. But like, with real ingredients instead of just noodles. <laughs> That's yum. That's actually really good. I like it a lot. Nine out of ten. Holy hotness, okay.